Hi, it's Chris Crocker here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center on Thursday evening, putting together a forecast for you that includes a little excitement for the first part of the weekend. Uh, you're going to want to watch this as you make your outdoor plans. Here are four things to know about your weather. Increasing smoke tonight, uh, thunderstorms late Friday into a stormy Saturday, and then a nice but breezy uh, Sunday should be sunny, uh, except for over the mountain areas where we could still have some showers and isolated thunderstorms. A uh, real quick look at our radar right now. This uh, takes, I say right now, you are probably not watching this live. It is just before the six o'clock hour and we have a weak disturbance making its way southeast through the region, bringing some isolated thunderstorm activity to the extreme uh, northeast mountains. We're looking around Medellin Falls and Northport and maybe drifting into the Bonners Ferry area and Sandpoint later tonight and wouldn't rule out a sprinkle or two around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene late this evening. Here's what else is coming in uh, late this evening. Some smoke. Now this is our smoke forecast. Uh, the computer model wants to bring some smoke up from the north uh, for tomorrow morning. It looks like right now we may be in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range. Uh, hopefully no worse than that, uh, but certainly keep tabs on that air quality if uh, like myself, uh, the smoke bothers you. I know that is the first thing I check in the morning these days. Um, here's what's going on. Uh, that area of low pressure over Idaho is what brought the heavy rains day before yesterday. Uh, then we have another little weak disturbance dropping down into the corner of north East Washington and North Idaho. That zips to the south tonight. We're in a little bit of a break until tomorrow evening when an area of low pressure drops out of the Gulf of Alaska, down along the coast and into the inland northwest through Saturday, bringing widespread showers and thunderstorms to the region. Um, here's a closer view on the computer model starting off Thursday evening. There's that quick little disturbance zipping through tonight. Eight o'clock Friday morning, we're dry. And then there's another round of wet weather uh, through Saturday early morning. Continues with more showers and thunderstorms through Saturday afternoon. And as I mentioned, I think we are going to have mainly mountain showers and thunderstorms on Sunday while the rest of the region dries out. These storms have the potential for bringing some heavy downpours, and so there is a flash flood watch Friday afternoon through Saturday afternoon. That is good news for the fires. That is bad news for the burn scars. Um, that could cause problems with mudslides and such, and uh, the other issues associated with flash flooding around uh, the region, particularly if you are camping or uh, away from Town, let me make a suggestion that you download the uh, First Alert weather app. Have that with you, and uh, that will help keep you informed of any flash flooding. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 50s, 60s, even some 40s. I sure enjoyed this morning's cool readings. It felt amazing. High temperatures tomorrow up in the 70s and 80s. A little bit cooler than today. We did hit 80 today in Spokane. It gets even cooler for Saturday with those showers and thunderstorms. Your planning forecast. 67 Saturday. We'll get some breaks on Saturday. Again, great time to have that weather app with you so you can plan if you're going to be out on a bike ride or maybe taking your skateboard out. Sunday, breezy but sunny and warmer, and then uh, just, gosh, pretty nice week ahead next week, uh, 70s and lower to mid 80s on Thursday, 84 degrees. Overnight lows, comfy, 40s and 50s. I have zero complaints. I have stuff to do inside. I'll get that done Saturday, have uh, some fun on Sunday. It's all good. I don't have a lake place that I have to worry about or a boat. 
It's when I feel like smug about not having a boat. Aren't you glad we don't have a boat? <laughs> Who wants a boat? I want a boat. I don't live in a place. <laughs> this helps ease the pain. Um, in the meantime, I'll see you back here tomorrow, Friday. Excuse me, my voice is still a little smoky from uh, smoke got me over the weekend trying to recover still and here comes another round I'm gonna be staying indoors uh, anyway have a good day and we'll see you back here tomorrow